Na orasa ta hayu ya uete irga yie ira emegailis tavai ai eka. Welcome to Ayla's tutorial number 12. In the last video, we spoke about what the topic, agent and patient functions do and what they look like. Today we'll have a look at the fourth and final component of an Ayla's sentence, which is called the modifier. The modifier is a syntactical element that changes the perspective of the sentence, or puts it into a certain context. In nearly all cases, the modifier will correspond to an adverb or adverbial clause. There are a lot of modifiers in Eilis, like a lot, and because there are so many, one could actually say that a modifier consists not of one root word, but of two or more. The first root, however, will always have to be the root word ir. The modifier is the most versatile syntactical element, and a powerful one too. It covers for a whole lot of things that cannot be expressed by the topic, agent and patient structure alone. This video will cover a few modifier types and explain how you can use them to your advantage. Have fun! First category of modifiers we'll discuss is the one with the root word as, time. These modifiers are important because they answer the question of the otherwise missing verb tenses. This idea briefly popped up two videos ago. We know, since the sixth video of the tutorial series, that there are five main points on the axis of time. We could therefore also say that Eilis has five tenses, or five general points in time in which an action can occur. Let's have a look. The word Asta era means the present. Therefore, the modifier ir asta era means now. Similarly, asta era means the near future. And so, the modifier ir asta era means soon. Asta ora means the far future, or also eternity. And so, ir asta ora means someday. For the past, we get irasta aira, which means recently, and irasta ara, which means a long time ago. We can also apply this exact way of thinking to space instead of time. Also here, keep in mind the explanations of video 6. With the root word an, we can describe locations, and with the modifier iran, we can say where actions are taking place. Examples include ira naida aira, to the left of something, ira neda ora, if something takes place high in the sky, ira neda aira, if something is happening far behind your back. But also toponyms can be used, for example, such as for instance, ira andre me cae, in Mexico. You can also connect personal pronouns to the modifier iran. For instance, ira naite, means as much as here, to be understood as the location where I am. Similarly, iranete means right there, as in the place where you are. And also, iranite, which means over there, where he or she is. Let's look at another modifier. Iram is the modifier of manner, which answers the question how. Our familiar introduction phrase contains iram di ira, which means desirably. The construction of iram di is a useful modifier, which serves as the equivalent of imperatives. Di ara means prohibition, and so the cluster iram di ara means under no circumstance should the action take place. Di aira is the same but slightly less demanding. Therefore, Iram di aira can be used to say, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Iram di era spells indifference, so you could use this in phrases such as, whether A or B happens, it doesn't matter. Iram di ira is a positive advice, and is therefore similar to, may it be so that, 
it is a good idea to do that, or it is desirable that. And the final one, iram di ora, expresses a demand or very strong will. The action must take place. If you've heard the eyeless version of the Lord's Prayer, you may have noticed that the word Amen is also translated as iram di ira. May it be so. But the root word di for volition isn't the only possible root word that can follow iram. We can also use iram to form the following signal words. Iramli or iramaika means firstly. Irameka, secondly. Iramika, thirdly, and so on. Let's look at another modifier. The root word ad is a root word that means level of accuracy, and the modifier irad is used to say something about how true an utterance is. This approach at the same time fills the gap of the otherwise missing words for yes and no. So in eyeless, instead of yes and no, we'd rather say it is true or it is not true. For example, if person A asks, Hanaina ira ya etene, are you okay? Then person B can respond, Irat ara, no, not at all. Irat aira, no, not really. Irat era, so so. Irat ira, yes, quite. Or iradora, yes, very much. Yes and no questions are also formed by use of the modifier irad. We must then additionally use the question particle ne. For example, irad ne, irdo aika asta aira, ha enem imaya ete. How true is it that you saw him yesterday? The answer might be irad aira, I didn't see him yesterday. Let's look at another one. Rai is a root word that means level of resemblance. This modifier can also be completed with qualifiers. Irai ara means oppositely or to the contrary. Irai aira means unlike. Irai era means that something is not similar nor the contrary, and thus it means irrelevant or having nothing to do with. Irai ira means similarly, and Irai ora means the same as, just like, identical to. You'll see that this pattern is most often additionally accompanied by the root word vai, which serves as a connector particle for another word we're making a comparison to. We have an example in the ninth tutorial video. Irai aira, vai asta aira. It literally means little similarity compared to the past, or simply unlike before. Let's use another example. Ha'e la aima la mawe ira literally means cognition is given by me and by father, or simply father and I are thinking. If we add the modifier irai ira, it means father and I think alike, or also father and I agree. As the resemblance is not specified any further, this sentence does not mention whether we agree with each other or with someone or something else. Here is another modifier. Irar is a construction to indicate the motivation or cause of an action taking place. For example, la aima ya huite hayina ira literally means from me to them improvement is given or simply I am helping them. If we were to add irar eni, then it means I am helping them because of you. If instead we'd add irar naina aira, it means I am helping them because of the bad situations. Closely related to the modifier of cause is the one of consequence, effect or intention, iris. There's also an example of this modifier to be found in the ninth video. Iris ka ira e ira emeger ta emegen. This means for a better understanding of the written and spoken language. A word of caution when using these last two modifiers. Irar 
strictly expresses what causes the rest of the utterance to happen, while iris talks about what happens because of the rest of the sentence. This can create tricky differences when compared to English. An example. La aima ya huite a yina ira. I help them. Irar eleana ira yi aima. Because it makes me feel good. In the eyeless logic, this sentence means that you feel good about yourself and that is why you are helping them. It is most likely, however, that you want to express that as a consequence of helping someone out, you are feeling good about yourself. So therefore, even though we have an English sentence that contains the word because, the use of irar in eyeless is not justified and instead iris should be used. There are a lot of modifiers in eyeless, like a lot. As mentioned before, the modifier is extremely versatile and I hope that you had some fun with this video and that it has given you somewhat of a basic understanding of the role that the modifiers play within the syntax of the eyeless language. As always, iram di ira, hanaina ora, la aima, yauete.